Hey guys, so I really wanted to do an updated foundation routine. I have been trying a foundation that's new for me. Um, may not be actually all that new though, but <laughs> my skin has changed just slightly in the winter time and for some reason my skin is just a little bit more oily. And um, all the other foundations I've been using have a little bit of like a luminous glow um, or, you know, they're a little bit more dewy which is not really beneficial <laughs> to someone who's getting very oily in the T-zone. So. so I've been trying a new foundation and it is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. This has an SPF of 15 and it's also oil free which is great for me. I like that it's actually really lightweight but it has pretty good coverage. It's about medium to full but you can get a really good sheer coverage too for those days when you don't really want to wear too much foundation. So I'm just going to actually get started. I'm going to go ahead and apply a foundation primer and I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, oil free and this is just going to help to smooth any pores, any fine lines. And then I'm going to use the Makeup Academy Professional um, BBCC Cream Brush, which, sorry it's all dirty, but <laughs> um, it's just a really nice, dense sort of kabuki brush to buff the foundation into my skin. So I like to use the brush to apply the primer, um, just so that way the foundation goes on smooth also. I love the Smashbox Foundation Primer only because um, I don't get that heavy, greasy feeling from it and it does help to prolong the wear of my foundation during the day. Now the Lancome foundation does say it's 24 hours. Um, I haven't tested that theory <laughs> only because uh, I have never, you know, I don't need to wear foundation for 24 hours. That's a bit much for me, but it does last as long as I need it to. By the end of the night, my foundation still looks pretty fresh. So now that I have my primer on, I'm going to pump some of the foundation onto the back of my hand. And one thing I really do love about this foundation is that it comes with a pump. So that way, you know, you can squirt out as little or as much as you'd like. My NARS Sheer Glow doesn't have a pump. I had to buy a pump and, you know, it's just kind of like an inconvenience. So I'm glad it does have one. So I sort of just stipple it. And then I'll buff it in so that way I don't get any streaks. But, oh, also I use this shade. Uh, this is 410 Bisque Warm. So if you have a similar skin tone to me, then give that shade a try. I pretty much just go for the more yellow tones. Anything warm normally goes really well for my skin. And I didn't want to go too light, um, only because I only get pale this time of the, you know, this time of the year in the winter time. So I'm not going to buy a pale foundation when I already have some pale ones for me. So. But I think this shade is actually a really good match. So as you can see, it just helps to even out your skin tone. Um, but it doesn't completely cover all of my, you know, blemishes, imperfections, which I sort of like only because um, I like my foundation to look a little bit more natural. Also can't see the foundation on the skin, which is great because I hate to see heavy, cakey foundation. So you can always build on top of it too if it's not enough coverage for you. So this foundation is really good for giving uh, more of a matte sort of finish and it pretty much just sets into place. Uh, you typically don't need a powder, especially if you're going for more of a natural skin finish where it just has a little bit of a glow to it. You won't need a powder to set it um, unless your skin is super oily. So once I have my foundation the way I like it, I can go in with my concealer. I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in Ginger Medium 3. And I just like to use that right in the eye area and again around my nose because I have allergies and my nose is always red. Then I can go on some of my blemishes, Maybe this one here, that one there, and then I just go down the bridge of my nose just to highlight slightly. So I'm just going to use an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush just to buff that in. So at this point I like to add a little bit of a highlight, so I use the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. And it's just one of these highlighting pens where you, you know, twist up, get the product. So I just apply that here to my cheekbones and a little bit under the eye. 
And then I go down the bridge of my nose and sometimes I'll go under my brow with that. Cupid's bow. And I don't do my forehead because why would I want to accentuate? <laughs> why would I want to accentuate how big my forehead is? <laughs> and then I use the same uh, concealer brush just to blend that in. back in with my foundation brush just to smooth out any edges. You want everything to blend into each other. Now to set my foundation and absorb any excess oil, I use the same powder in two different shades. So it is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Powder. So I have light to medium and then I have tan to dark. And I love these powders because they really do help to absorb any excess oil and they're a perfecting powder so it's going to help to basically blur out any imperfections that you have. So I'm going to use the light to medium just in my under eye area. And this is just an e.l.f. blush brush. I like it because it's really small so I can get underneath my eye really well with it. And I just use a small amount. I go down my nose and the sides. And then for the rest of the skin, I'll use the tan to dark. And I just press it on. So that way I don't disturb the foundation and the concealing that I did. Right now I've really been loving the Betty Luminizer from The Bomb. So it's a really pretty luminizing bronzing powder. I'm just going to take a smaller brush and just apply some of this. Now everything from the bomb is super pigmented <laughs> so I just use a really small amount. So it's just going to help to bronze and give me a little bit of a, a glow right where I want it. Use a little bit of that on my forehead. And then I just take a small amount and I go down the side of my nose. And this is, like I said, a really, really small amount. It's not so much of a contouring um, as much as just giving color and shape back to my face. And then if I want to add blush, I'll add some blush. So this is the Bombs Hot Mama. So it's a really pretty uh, peachy pink shade with a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. So with the same, any of the brushes I've used, I'll just pat that on my cheeks. So this is pretty much my foundation routine. Sometimes I'll skip some steps, um, you know, for every day that aren't so important, um, like blush and bronzer. Uh, but other than that, this is pretty much what I do all the time. So yeah, leave your comments below. Let me know what foundation you guys are loving right now because I am a foundation chunky and I love trying different foundations. So let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, guys.